Meg sobs under pillow as King Charles refuses to give Sussex Royal Lodgers a UK welcome gift for Lily's birthday. If you've been keeping up with the latest developments in the lives of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, then you know that the couple hasn't been getting much love from the press lately. Insiders say the Sussexes no longer feel safe visiting New York City, and the unexpected criticism has likely come as an unpleasant shock to the embattled royals. However, the unexpected thing is that, a source claimed that the duo wishes to go back to the UK for a number of reasons, including the fact that Lilibet will be two next month and they want their daughter to assist Sussex bridge the rift with the royal family. According to a member of the royal staff at Buckingham Palace, Sussex was contacted through email to request a present to welcome them back into the royal family, and the gift had to be appropriate for the two-year-old princess. And, that gift is the royal lodge, which Prince Andrew owns. However, it won't be easy for King Charles to give his younger brother Prince Andrew the boot from his beloved royal lodge home in Windsor. But as it turns out, the monarch has no actual control over the circumstances about getting him out of the $37 million home. As a result, Buckingham Palace has completely refused to respond to Sussex's request. This may be King Charles' implied message to the pair after they both announced Sussex's new projects, which waged fresh wars against the royal family. The UK's Chancellor of the Exchequer can also force the Duke of York, 63, to vacate the premises. This position is the chief finance minister in the parliament and is responsible for setting volumes of taxation and public spending across the country. The current chancellor is Jeremy Hunt. The lease is in the duke's name, so no one can take that away from him, the friend told the Times recently. It has never been suggested that it could be taken away from him, the pal continued. It's a long lease with 80 to 90 years left on it. They continued, that's not a matter for the king. It's a matter for the Chancellor of the Exchequer. The source noted that there is only one way to kick Andrew out of the abode, through a civilized arrangement that he would have to agree to. The Royal Lodge was gifted to Andrew in 2002, and he has been living there with his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson. The Windsor residence is allegedly set to be given to Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton. Charles is even trying to persuade Queen Elizabeth's favorite child to move into Frogmore Cottage, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's former home. Andrew is refusing to budge from the home and Charles, 74, has been trying to get him to leave the 30-room mansion since April. Of course, as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been among the world's most divisive figures for several years now. But over the course of the past week, even outlets that have a history of supporting Harry and Meghan have either gone silent or turned on the Sussexes. The main cause of the downturn in Harry and Meghan's approval ratings is the ongoing controversy surrounding the couple's most recent trip to New York City. According to a statement released by their reps last Wednesday, Harry and Meghan were chased by paparazzi through the streets of Manhattan for a full two hours. In the days since the statement was released, numerous critics have cast doubt on Harry and Meghan's version of events. Some believe the couple exaggerated the incident, while others have accused them of outright lying. A third group is criticizing Harry and Meghan for making the situation more dangerous by mishandling it in the moment. So perhaps it should come as no surprise that insiders have started pondering the possibility that Harry and Meghan will soon return to London for good. It's always possible that one day he might want to come home, it's possible that he might buy, a property, here if he wanted to come over, more, and Meghan didn't want to come over, King Charles' former butler Grant Harold told the New York Post this week. Meghan doesn't really have any family here as such, all her family are in the States and that's where Harry has decided he wants to set up his home, he continued. Harold explained that Harry is always going to have an association with the UK and will never totally want to cut that off. It's very possible they could come back to the UK, however, at this moment in time they seem happy in the States and that's where they want to be, he told the Post. It's clear that Harry and Meghan aren't happy with the treatment they've received in the States this week.
thought I'd try a storm in it If it went right in our destination In the day with the real light as more we can I fear for the freedom she found so In the fire of the hole, we know we'll live in your eyes Together we're it's all about beyond every point there For the freedom and the flame, for the ears I'll be all we are all the shadow, yeah Whoa, oh, tell us all and be all right Meg sobs under pillow as King Charles refuses to give Sussex Royal Lodges a UK welcome gift for Lily's birthday if you've been keeping up with the latest developments in the lives of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, then you know that the couple hasn't been getting much love from the press lately. Insiders say the Sussexes no longer feel safe visiting New York City, and the unexpected criticism has likely come as an unpleasant shock to the embattled royals. However, the unexpected thing is that, 